Um, Alan Grayson is a Democrat who issued an ad comparing the Tea Party to the Klan. But what he doesn't tell you, and what Republicans in Congress don't seem all that willing to tell you, those uh, Klansmen standing around the burning cross were Democrats. And that the racism that Alan Grayson is talking about is from his party. Oh, and I, I, love, I love the argument from people. They say, well, that was the Democratic Party of old. They actually switched sides. Yeah, and they're now the Republicans, and specifically the Tea Party. Mm -hmm. When did that happen exactly? Well, uh, you, know, you got these, uh, these people tugging their collars going, well, it, uh, it happened uh, during the uh, FDR administration. Yes, he was the guy that did the uh, Social Security and the New Deal and all that. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, really? Well, then, why is it that FDR appointed a KKK leader, Hugo Black, to the Supreme Court? Well, uh, it, uh, it must have happened, uh, hmm, uh, well, it must have happened during the uh, Lyndon Johnson administration. Really? Interesting theory. Because uh, Robert KKK Byrd was a Democrat, and you had Bill Clinton say, well, he uh, he uh, he had to he had to uh, join the Klan to get things done. What? And then the coup de gras involves Wayne Perryman, a guy that you may not know of, but he sued the Democratic Party and demanded little more than an apology. Went to court. Went to the Supreme Court. They wouldn't hear his case. He just wanted them to say, "Hey, you know." Um, we're sorry. The Democratic Party of old made a lot of committed a lot of egregious crimes. But you didn't see Democrats issue that apology. So Alan Grayson is the racist. Alan Grayson is the evil man whose libel and slander needs to be refuted, not just by Ben Burt or Anybody else in talk radio or the blogs, it needs to be called out by our leaders. So here is Alan Grayson talking to Martin Bashir at MSNBC about why he used this racist ad. Well, today, Martin, the home of discrimination and bigotry in our country, in our political system, is the Tea Party, in the same way that the home of bigotry and discrimination generations ago was the Ku Klux Klan. I'm pleased that we haven't gone so far as to see those murders, but the analogy holds to that degree. In fact, we saw it on your show last week when Larry Klayman uh, exhibited gross racism. We saw it last week when a Confederate flag was waved in front of the, the White House by Tea Party fanatics. Sure.